Hi, Les from Thailand, retired and living the dream. Have you heard the good news? As from July the 1st, Thailand is going to reopen without the Thailand pass or insurance. Yay! It's about time. It's took a long, long time. So as from July the 1st, everywhere should be starting to open and they're given permission to open up until 2 a.m. in the morning. So it's the small start, it's small steps for the reopening of Thailand. And what I've done, I've done a review here of the hotel that we stayed in, in Soy 7, in Pattaya. It's the Flipper House Hotel. Absolutely fantastic. You will not be disappointed in staying in this hotel. Now there are hundreds and hundreds of hotels you can stay in in Pattaya. But why did we stay in the Flipper House Hotel in Soy 7, Pattaya? Because Soy 7, for those who've never been, is sort of walking distance to everywhere. It's smack bang central in the middle of Pattaya and it's got some good bars on Soy 7 and Soy 8 and it's walking distance to the beach and it's walking distance up to Central Festival. It's good to be there. Soy 7 is, is a good place to stay. It's got parking at the Flipper House Hotel. So watch the little video at the end of this and I give it a thumbs up to stay. It is absolutely well worth it. The breakfast is very, very good. It's a buffet breakfast. You can eat as much as you want. And the quality of the food there is brilliant. The staff was good. Their bed was comfortable. The rooms were immaculately clean. And all for just over 900 baht a night. I can't give you the exact price because it varies from weekend to midweek. But look at 950 to 1,000 baht a night to stop in this hotel. It's a bargain. So thanks for... Mm-hmm.